Hello everyone, I'm Garrett Oak Amber, and this is another Space Engineers video. So, I've constructed myself a ship that I made in relatively outstandingly fast time, within an hour. Um, and I am going to show you a bit of explosions and destruction, because I was fascinated to see if I could do it myself. Make something very adept at causing harm, and also still look good. So this here is uh, my ship. I've nicknamed it a wasp, or uh, the bumblebee, and I think it's more of a wasp. It's very thin and lean, and it looks really badass. It's fully functional, it's got a lot of boosters in all the directions that matter. It has amazing turning speed, amazing movement, and I'm quite pleased with myself for doing this. Um, and, I, you know, it took on its own form. It was originally just going to be a box with a ramming area here in the front, as you can see, with mines all over it, um, and it was going to have a back booster area, and that was all, all, that was it, and then it just started to take on wings and all that, and I was like, well, you know, it already looks like it's uh, some sort of stinger, oh, that's right, I wanted to name it the Yellow Jacket, yeah, that's a more proper name, it's the Yellow Jacket, um, but yeah, it took on this very nice military, almost, look to it, and its full design is to just ram shit. Um, it looks kind of like a construction vehicle, and I guess you could always format it to do that. Uh, these arms are expendable, damaging units, um, but the propellers cause a lot of damage as well. So, that thing over there, I'll get to that in a moment. I just made that just because I wanted to try something like a giant space drill, and I don't know how effective it'll be, but I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty damn cool. So, we'll get into that in a moment. Um, so here, I made a copy of one of my former versions of my massive spacecraft that I'm going to be building. Um, but we're going to wreck that shit. So, I'm going to make sure that I am, in fact... There we go. Saving. And the Space Wasp, uh, the Yellow Jacket, sorry, is on its way to victory. Alright. I gotta make sure it's lined up correctly, otherwise this isn't going to do jack shit. Now, it is fairly damaging. It's not the most damaging craft, though, I've ever made. Honestly, I haven't really tested that much damage. So here we go. Ooh, floodlights are lighting up. Here we go. Yay! Destroy! Ah! Ah! That is a lot of da- Ah! <laughs> that is a lot of damage. Um, so let's throw back and see what we've done. And unfortunately, the arms aren't really designed for a head-on impact like that. It's a one all-or-nothing charge, um, but if you were to skim it off the side. So we did considerable damage there. Um, so let's get out of this, shall we? Wow, um, yeah, and my thing's gravity is a little borked right now. <laughs> We've dealt some considerable damage. Oh. Okay, so the entire front end of the ship is kind of wrecked. Wow, we caved in. Oh, that was a close call. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't even notice that when I got out. Um, Any closer and the ship would be just not usable at all. Um, so, the arms are completely destroyed. The appendages are wrecked and mangled, and we pierced a lot. We destroyed enough stuff floating everywhere. Look at this. Hello. <laughs> uh, so let's take a look what this looks like on a crewmate's perspective. Wow, that gravity is really screwed up right now. Yeah, I think we destroyed the gravity unit. Did we? Yeah, we did. We definitely destroyed it. It wants to lean downwards. Um, so yeah, damn. If you were standing on this spacecraft, this platform, you'd be wrecked. And we even managed to hit the lower floors. I don't know how, but we did. It smashed through just enough. Um, that's severe damage. That could make it always more damaging than that, but, uh, you know. Whatever. Let me show you what the, uh... I'm just going through the top. <laughs> Let me show you what the propellers will do if we aim those properly. They're fairly destructive uh, if used properly. You want to try to hook them around something. 
so let's hook them around here. Come on, you. Ah, smash! Wow, we didn't smash it. Okay, well, I guess that's all well and good. Let's do this. Smash. Smash. Oh, there we go. They're spinning very fast. That's why they're so damaging. Oh, no. That is a massive amount of damage. Just for one uh, tap, really. Let's try to get the other one here. No. We'll spin around. Smash! Just break already. Oh, there we go. Boom! There goes the dynamite. Oh, I think we lost the wing. <laughs> yeah, it looks... No, we didn't. Not yet. Well, we will. Oh! Um... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, we're wedged. <laughs> oh, man. Oh! It's still going! Oh, wow. That is serious damage. And yeah, we just got kicked from the craft because it got destroyed. And that's what happens uh, when you throw a yellow jacket into a giant mess. Um, so we're going to try something different. So I was thinking of trying a high-speed attack just to see what this thing is truly capable of before it is utterly smash to smithereen. So we're gonna attack our red ship there that we um, are always given at the start of the game world. And I'm hoping I don't smash this into anything else because I really would like to smash into that. So let's get our trajectory here. Okay, so we're going full on dirt mode here. There's our warp gate. And we bypassed it completely. <laughs> well, you know what? We're gonna turn this baby around. So let's turn. It has pretty damn good turning speed. I mean, in comparison to my other ships that I made, which are absolute garbage. So I figured, you know, let's just hit a target we know we can hit. Something so large. There's no way we could possibly miss. Right? Smashy, smashy time. Here we go. Oh, are we gonna miss that? Slightly. <laughs> oh, man. Um. So high speed isn't really as different. Wow. Let's see what we did there. Well, we left some nice knobs on it, which is pretty neat. Yeah, asteroids are really strong. They don't uh, screw around, really. Hmm. Let's try to hit our little arm on one of these. See how much that can actually take. It's going to snap right off like a twig, I'm pretty sure of that. Hello. Goodbye. Wow, that thing's durable. Actually caused me to bounce. Damn. Let's see what the damage is in the front. <laughs> Maybe it was a poor choice to put the cockpit so close to it. Look at that. My guy is absolutely terrified. <laughs> um, okay, let's try the giant drill. Um. I seem to have a small problem here. Whoa. Uh, my drill is killing itself. Slightly. <laughs> uh, I'm a little concerned. Oh, man. What did I do? <laughs> I seem to have screwed something up along the lines here. Um, oh, man. Oh, God. 
So let's uh, take a look at this as it spins madly out of control. Wow. And I actually think it's floating off into space. I forgot to put thrusters. Um, oh, no! <laughs> Please! So I'm going to uh, be right back and fix that, because that's a big problem. Hey, but it's a nasty <laughs> obstacle. You wouldn't want to encounter this if you were flying through space. <gasps> um, so there is a problem with this ship. It really does not like in the directions I want it to. And it is going completely out of control. Oh god. Let me in, please. Please. Oh, you know what? I figured out why it is. Yeah, I know why it is. Alright, well, I got it to work, but not really work. I thought it was because I needed a gyroscope, but apparently that's not enough. Okay. It's the violent motion that the ship's going through that's causing it to do this. The top is supposed to be spinning as well, but it can't. Um, so we're just going to try our best. <laughs> we're going to try our best to... I don't even think we can go forward. Yeah, we're, I think we're stuck. Constant spinning. Um, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to get out and drive something into it and see what happens. So we're going to get inside of our good friend here. The yellow jacket. Ah! <laughs> well, okay. That's something you don't want to do. Just get sucked underneath your ship. Because that would be very bad. I know we're upside down. It's fine. We've got gravity. Ooh. There we go. Okay, let's get inside. And we will try for victory. Or complete friggin' disaster. So first of all, I wanted to test the um, drill bit there. <laughs> that thing is just a mess. I am sorry. Uh, if you were expecting something fantastic, well, it's a fantastic mess. So we are gonna try this thing here. Let's see what it does. Whoa, no. Oh, god. Wow, that is effective. Ah! Oh, smashed! Oh no! Oh! Wow. So, within just a matter of seconds, that thing wrecked us. Oh, it's still wrecking us! Oh my god! The uh, yellow jack did not stand a chance. And now, we don't really have a way of steering, so we're just going to get out of there. And let's try another type of ship. It's just floating off into the abyss now. <laughs> let's try um, the blue uh, dick ship here. Where is... Oh, there it is. It's hiding. <laughs> let's get... Let's drive it into the jackhammer, shall we? That's what I think I'll name it. The jackhammer. That's what it does. It's intended to wreck your stuff. <laughs> so let's... Uh, in here? Uh, oh. This is a beautiful ship, by the way. If the developers ever watch this video, I have to give you, you know, applause. This ship is gorgeous. And please forgive me while you sit there cringing while I absolutely destroy this ship. Because I'm going to wreck it. Wow, my ship's actually better at turning than theirs. <laughs> you have a beautiful ship, but, uh... It's a little bit slow in comparison. Come on. Mm, hold on, let's speed this up. Okay, sorry about that. It took me about a year to get this thing slightly oriented. Come on. You can do it. There we go, there we go. Oh, okay. Well, no, you're going too fast. Okay. We're going to drive it straight into that business piece there. try. Smashy, smashy! Now this thing should take a lot of damage, considering we're driving so fast into it, but uh, I think both ships are going to get wrecked. Whoa! Oh, man! We lost... <laughs> we lost part of our front end. Um, no, no, go back. Go back. 
need you to go back. We're gonna back up into it. Beep, beep. Smash it. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow, we actually knocked the biggest portion off. But we're losing our entire backside to this. And we have, I think, killed the main drill. We still got that small area. Wow. How am I still moving? Where the hell am I? I need to find out. Okay, so we are... <gasps> wow. We're so close to destruction. <laughs> I am so surprised that this thing actually remained in pieces. In one piece. Look at this. We were that close to being annihilated. And I seem to be stuck. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, hmm. So the drill is pretty devastating. Uh, so I'm gonna... I don't even know where the drill went. Where is it? Oh, it's floating down. Oh, wow, we drifted. So let's bring this thing for side-on collision, shall we? Um, apparently I had sent it careening into space. And I'm unable to locate it. If you see it in this video, please let me know. Because I don't know where it is now. It was floating somewhere in this area, and then it just vanished. Yeah, so we did something horrible to it. So I'm going to wreck this ship the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I was hoping to give it another go and smash into it, but uh, it's going to do this stuff again. Okay, so apparently holding E allows you to bank, which is good. Whoa. Hey, let's smash it into our new ship that we're building, shall we? Come here, you. Head-on collision. Our cockpit isn't there. It's okay. That's moving slow. Uh, smash. Wow. We just buried it into the side of paneling. I think this is a good time as I need to test how strong my uh, new ship is. And yeah, it's got a lot of layers, so if I keep adding hull, this thing isn't going to do anything to it. No ship will. Okay, so let's try again. Only side collision. Oh no. Ah. Uh, we're spinning, but we're not hitting anything because apparently I'm very bad at steering. It's very hard to get a side collision. <laughs> I'm trying! I really am! And effectively, your entire star crew is dead after something like that. <laughs> As you can see, the walkway is buried. Oh, man. The entire docking area is exposed. Oh. Oh, smashy, smashy. Trying so hard to get away from it. Okay. Let's see what we did. Wow, this thing is hanging on by a thread. Literally. Let's get out and, uh... Explore a bit. Wow! Okay, my gravity's screwed up now. Oh, man. <laughs> Hello, void of space! How are you? I want to check out this walkway first person. Oh! <laughs> You're not gonna cross that. It's like, ah, oh, Solaris! Spoilers! <laughs> and yeah, that is, that is the end of our craft. Meanwhile, my much larger ship fared a lot better because of the layering I have done. Yeah, we did smash open a part of the part of the hull, but that's fine. I mean, this this is not done, so when that thing is done, you'll see a lot of hull. There's going to be at least I'm aiming for ten layers of uh, of green hull. Yeah, we done good. So I actually wanted to graze the red ship here and see what kind of damage these things will do if they're not just plowed into something. 
So we actually have to be very careful here. So we're gonna ease over. We're gonna go down. We're still a little for, uh, further out. Come on, Yellow Jacket, you can do it. Ship's auto-adjusting here. I like the fact that this game is a little slow-paced for a star kind of voxel game. Um, it makes it feel like you're literally just... This is your job. You work in space, and you build shit, and you mine, and you construct, and have warfare, and things like that. It's a lot more strategy-based, I would think, than um, the already released game uh, Star Maid, which is very much like only uh, Star Maid's free. This game is not... Ooh, we gotta be careful, we don't wanna hit that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry if this is me just goofing around here, but that's really the only thing you can do. It would take me a long time to show you one of these builds. Um, and again, like in Terraria, I dislike showing it off greatly. Oh wow, so we are gr practically going to graze that. Uh, so let's. I really wanna graze it. Like this. So let's show you what will happen. Hopefully it's a good enough angle. Let's see what happens. Lowering it down, smashy smashy time. Oh no, what am I doing? I'm completely missing it. Ah, oh, we hit it. Huh. Okay, so it's not big enough to do that. So it seems this thing is an all or nothing kind of hit. <laughs> wow, we didn't take any damage from that though. Huh. So if we made that larger, we deal a lot more damage. Oh wow. That does work. Oop, we took damage there. <laughs> oh. Ah yeah, hell. Let's just smash the whole thing. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, no. Ah. Wow. <laughs> and there goes our propeller thing spinning off into the sunset. And let's... Ram this. Oh no! Smash! Ah! <laughs> wow. I've been wanting to do that for a while, just massive damage to the ship. And it looks like we did achieve that slightly. Our motor's still attached. I didn't even notice. Wow. Uh, we still have another motor we can screw around with. That's really strong. Let's take out the bottom of your ship, shall we? No. <laughs> Please. I just want to bring this thing to an end. Mm. Smash it with the back. Yeah! Break their uh, thrusters, maybe? Yeah, a little bit of them. <laughs> I love how the wreckage has, like, I don't know, it, hit, it, it appears to be wrecked in different ways. You know, there's rips and tears and dents and bruising, but when it comes down to it, it, it looks like it's legitimately just completely destroyed. So you don't want to brush up against your buddies in this game, because you're going to do a lot of damage. Woo! And of course, it's at this time that another ship captain might see the chaos and decide he wants in on that action. So he'll be like, oh, I want you guys to die. And he'll take his massive, bulky craft, and he'll just decide to ram it. Or he'll get lost in space, and <laughs> gonna take some damage early on. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man! Oh why, Winston? No! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, and that happens. 
Oh man, it's this it's so messed up right now. Wow. Oh, you can see inside my cockpit. I'm literally just sitting there. Okay, so kinda like Star Maid, you don't want to put your core. I can't even get out, can I? Barely. Let me out, please. <laughs> please. Oh man. Um <laughs> oh god. Oh god, the window's floating away. Uh so pretty much like Star Maid. Did I say bound before? Sorry. Like Star Maid, you don't want to put your core in the front of the ship. It looks cool, but wow, my gravity's uh uh going a bit. Is the top area destroyed? I wonder. Oh, here, let me up. Let me up. I don't want to use the ladder because it's slow and I'm doing a video. Oh, man. I can't even, like, enter it with the gravity off. Uh, <laughs> I used to do that or anyway. I didn't want to, but I had to. Uh, so let's see what the damage is up here. <gasps> what? What? Oh, I see how it is, game. I see. Take two. Climbing the ladder to success. And take two has failed. Apparently. I don't know what's going on. Ah, I tricked it. I got up there and then I, uh... Oh, it looks like the upper layer is completely void of any issue whatsoever. But gravity. Oh my god. It's like pulling me. Slanted. Um, yeah, so I had to use my, my gravity thing, uh, anti, the jetpack, whatever, to get out of that. Uh, let's see what the damage is. Oh, there would be our problem right there. That's why the gravity's slanted, because you have two ships relatively close to each other, and the gravity's pushing and pulling, and, yeah. We, uh, wrecked this baby. Look at that. Let's see what the interior damage is on this. Um, wow, surprisingly, that area was mostly just shielding. They knew what they were doing. The whole back end is screwed up, but... Oh! Oh, we got sucked into the engine room. Oh. Why's my light effing up? I don't know, it's like flashing. Yes, this entire side. So we didn't do as much damage as it appeared. Most of this ship is made of hull. Um, they didn't want it getting destroyed anytime soon. But we'll create a ship that's better, stronger, and bigger. And we will just devastate this thing. How about that? Ah! Yeah, I'm getting sucked to the bump. The um, <laughs> yellow jacket there. So yeah, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy this little bit of random destruction and creative... Uh, assholishness. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of this. I I'm pleased. How did that get up there? We have a piece of the tail just wedged. <laughs> we yeah, okay, I see how it got wedged. Yeah, because we went through We just smashed it, clobbered it together. That's a big buster cluck. I've got some random barricade floating here in the great wild of space. We are going to cause a cataclysmic explosion. Oh god. Oh god. Smashy time. Whoa. <laughs> oh man. It's too bad the weakest part of my ship hit the uh, strongest part of that one. Oh man, but our inertia is off, so it's going to continue to go forward. Ah, smash. <laughs> Holy shit. Um. Oh, man, it's just going to continue to go forward. Oh, no, no, no. no. The, the engines are overheating. No.